In my previous video, How to Make Viral Stickman Videos, I showed you how I created this Stickman character named Kevin. Yeah, that was already five months ago, the time goes fast, man. But since then, AI tools like ChatGPT and Kling AI have had some major upgrades, making it way easier to create Stickman animations. For example, check this out because this was Kevin before ChatGPT's update, and this is Kevin now. How? I simply uploaded my first initial scratch of Kevin in ChatGPT and asked it to recreate him, only this time with pants, hands, and a fresh pair of white Nike Air Force sneakers. Yeah, that's basically how I upgraded him, in my opinion with more swag and it's a way easier method than the one I showed you before. Before we get started, a lot of you asked me to make part two. You wanted to know how I created the lip sync and you asked me how I animated the characters. Well, in this video, I'm answering all your questions, so let's jump right in. The first thing you need to do is open Photoshop and use the polygonal lasso tool to select the area around the character's mouth and eyes. Then, apply generative fill with the prompt delete to create a blank face. I do this because it makes animating the eyes and mouth much easier later when you want your character to have conversations in your videos. So save two versions of your character, one with the face and one without. Next up, I'll show you the easiest way to create an accurate lip sync. In Google type Adobe Express Animate, click the first link, hit Create Now, then go to the category drop-down and select Mouths Only. Then change the background to a green screen so you can remove it later. And do not choose Transparent, because you will not be able to download the animation. For the audio, head over to Eleven Labs. I already have pre-made voices, but if you haven't, there's a huge library of high-quality voices to pick from. So pick a voice that matches your character, type the dialogue you want them to say, and click Generate Speech to create your audio file. Finally, go back to Adobe Express Animate, upload the audio file, and it will automatically sync the mouth animation to your audio. And that's it. You've got a quick and easy lip sync for your Stickman character. Next, head over to FreePick and search for Animated Eyes. Look for a collection of eyes that convey different emotions. This will make your character feel more expressive. Once you've found a set you like, download it. And now you're basically ready to start animating. All right, the scene takes place in this setting. Two bros pulling an all-nighter on a Friday night, nothing better to do. So video games it is. I created this scene using ChatGPT. I highly recommend using it to design your own scenes because it also lets you generate the same setup from different angles, like a back view or even a first-person perspective. Next, I went over to Kling AI to animate the scenes. I used the new Kling 2.1 model and started describing what I want. Here's the prompt I used. Screenshot it. In addition, as you can see here, I first removed the faces and mouths from the characters. Why? Because leaving them in makes animating facial expressions a long and frustrating process. Just look at this example where I left the faces on. Even though the generated faces look decent, they still have some artificial flaws that are hard to clean up later. Now once you have all your scenes, mouth templates, and audio files, it's time to upload them in Premiere Pro. The first step is to bring your scene into the timeline, then add both sets of eyes to the timeline as well. For an organized workflow, it's crucial to name your files properly and use labels to avoid a messy project later on. Next, place the eyes onto your two Stickman figures. Position them naturally on the face. This part is all about your own judgment and feel, and it's something I can't fully teach you. Now, let's add the mouth to the timeline. First, remove the green background. Go to Effects, search for green screen, and drag it onto the mouth layer. Scale and position the mouth so it fits naturally. Again, trust your eye here to determine what looks best. You'll notice the mouth might be facing the wrong direction. To fix this, search for horizontal flip in effects and drag it onto the mouth layer. This will flip it to face the right way. Repeat the same process for the other character. Once you've placed the mouths and eyes, you'll need to create a still frame of the mouth in a closed position. To do this, double click the mouth layer in your project, take a screenshot using the camera icon and import that image back into Premiere Pro. Place it on the timeline for the character who isn't talking at that moment. To animate the eyes, simply cut the part of the timeline where you want the eyes to move. For example, if I want the character to glance to the left here, I cut the clip and slightly reposition the eyes and mouth in that direction. This subtle adjustment creates the illusion of eye movement. Lastly, if you want the mouth to transition from talking to a closed state, just place the closed mouth layer right after the talking animation ends. Make sure the position on the X and Y axis matches perfectly by copying the position settings from the talking mouth and pasting them onto the closed mouth layer. And that's basically how you animate the mouth and eyes. With the collection of eyes you downloaded from FreePick, 
you can also change the character's emotions. To do this, cut the timeline at the point where you want the expression to change. Replace that section with a different set of eyes showing a new emotion. Again, copy the position settings from the original eyes to ensure perfect alignment with the new pair. And there you go. These are the basics for creating a simple stickman animation. No advanced animation skills needed. If you take your time, you can create something like this. Watch. How many you want me to score on you? 3-0? Bruh, you're Four? trash. 6? Absolute garbage. 3-0, right? <laughs> Bro, start. Play. Play. You're taking too long. Hurry. I'm still gonna beat you. Yo Siri, hang up. Bro, you can look, but you always only can score with corner kicks.